welcome back. My name is Jess, if you're new here, and typically on my channel, I like to talk about homeschool things, mom things, because that's where I am in my life. I am a mom of two kids and one on the way coming in September. So I wanted to show you guys my personal planner. I guess this kind of is a mom thing for sure because this really has helped me to be motivated to stay on track and a lot of different things. So I'm just going to do a flip through of my Happy Planner Franken Planner. So it's a Franken Planner because that means that I reconstructed, deconstructed a planner and kind of put together my own things. And you can see all the different tabs up there. It's a little bit thicker, but this is the classic size Happy Planner. Happy Planner meaning that it's on this disc system so you can pull things out, put things in. It's really awesome. I love it. My homeschool planner is the same way. I have one for my daughter. It's just really cool. It's been really working well for me, especially because I like to kind of change things up and customize and never really stick to the same thing for like 12 months on end. So this has been working well. So let me give you a flip through. First of all, this is the cover of a faith planner. So I really liked the floral watercolors. I've been really big into floral water watercolors lately. And so I loved when I saw this at Hobby Lobby, I picked it up. I think it's an older faith planner. And you'll see that it's not really meant for day-to-day -day planning, more for like you're doing your devotionals and stuff like that. But I've converted it <laughs> to be my day-to-day -day weekly planner. So I open this up. And you'll see I just have this little um, sticky note thing that I put in here. These are just from Recollections. I like to use um, sticky notes when I'm planning my month or my week. I'm not for sure certain if something's going to happen. But so I don't write it down in pen and then have to white it out. I will use sticky notes. And this is kind of the overall theme. The pretty florals of the planner. It is there's a 2019, 2020. I haven't really done anything with that yet. Now you're gonna see the first month of July. <laughs> this is when I my very first thing. So the spread isn't the best. Let's just say that. But this is my monthly overview. There's not a whole lot of like major importance. Now I have written down school every single day that we. I planned on doing school and I don't plan on doing that in August. I have a homeschool planner. I know that we do school every day, so I don't need to write it down. It makes things look busier. So I'm gonna take this little clip out. Usually I use a clip to just be able to easily flip to the, the current week that I'm in, but I'll take it out just to show you um, maybe how I've done one week compared to another. So this was my first week ever using my happy planner. And it was happened to be the 4th of July week. So I did a little bit of, you know, 4th of July. Now, as you can see, I have put stickers over these little banners. So it usually looks like this. Scripture reading, keywords, observation, and application. But I wanted to use this for uh, my weekly spread, like I said. So instead I just put priorities here, to-dos here, and then reminders down here. That's how I did this week. And I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I like to do my layout. This week I actually changed to a different planner. So I bought uh, a different planner that had more neutral lines and I did like it a lot actually. Uh, and so it just has a vertical three spaces here. And that's how I did last week, but then I decided I actually really liked the flowers. There's a reason why I bought the flowers and everything. And, um, and then I also, so then I just decided to cover up with washi tape and stickers and put my own headings. So that's what this week is. I made my own little insert that just says today. So when I'm looking at it at the top, I can just flip to it. And I also have my clip usually in this week. That is what I have as far as my um, catch-all planner, I guess you could call it. It has doctor's appointments, different things that are going on, my chores, my habits, 
my life pretty much, except I don't have my faith planner in here. That's a separate journal that I keep totally out of this planner. So I have all the way up until um, December. And I really do like the dividers in this. This is just like the cover. There's also a watercolor here with a matching theme for September. And October's, I believe, was really pretty too. So I just really like the dividers. Um, I think it was worth buying the, the planner for 40% off at Hobby Lobby um, just for the, the, the beautiful dividers and the scriptures, um, just the reminders throughout the year. So after that, I have Home Life. <laughs> These are actually um, the expansion pack it came with. I think this might be a separate little thing that you can buy for sticky notes that I can like put throughout my planner. So when I'm sitting down to plan, I will plan out all the main things and then I'll come over here to my chores and figure out, okay, what needs to be done this week? I will also look at last week, see what I did last week. <laughs> um, and this chore thing expansion pack came, is part of Happy Planner's expansion pack, although I did make my own inserts. I found a Marie Kondo quote that I really like. I gave myself some inspiration. And then I also took some time and really figured out what really needs to be done weekly and what that looks like. So if I say I'm going to do, you saw those stickers back in my chores. So if I'm going to do bedrooms today, I'm gonna go over to my bedrooms and say, master bath kids, or master bed kids and my baby's bedroom what needs to be done, and then that's that's that. Just in case I need reminders, that's that. <laughs> so this is weekly cleaning zones, then I also did my monthly cleaning zone. So once a month, and these get rotated in throughout the week or the month, but I'm not gonna do all of these on just one day of the month. Um, that'd be very overwhelming, so this is usually just if I have time. And then I also made a um, last time that I, and these are things that maybe I don't, would, wouldn't remember to do a lot. Maybe I don't always remember to do that, so I wanna make sure I write down, you know, the date that I did that last, so I can say, oh, it's been two months since I've wiped that down, or since I've cleaned my junk drawer, or washed my kitchen. These stickers here, the they're a silver foil, and those are part of the household sticker pack in that uh, Happy Planner has. And then I kind of created this based on a couple people on YouTube's um, just inspiration and also just things that I felt like I needed <laughs> to be done. And I also have checklists here that Happy Planner um, has with their household thing and their household expansion pack, but I haven't really used these yet just because there's only a few that are in here and I just haven't felt like, okay, I wanna start using that. So I just haven't started using that yet, but they are nice. Unfortunately, you only get like four, four weeks or something in one pack, so you have to kind of keep buying them. There's meal planning, which you'll see that <laughs> uh, I don't really meal plan. Pizza night is every Monday night. That's just what I've been doing. We've been making our own pizza every Monday, but other than that, it's not, I don't really plan my meals or our dinners. My husband's never home for dinner time. He works later than that. And so we just kind of have different things throughout the week. Um, but this is nice because it's a common kitchen substitutes. This also comes with the expansion pack. And then if I did want to meal plan or have grocery list or something, this dry erase board is really nice. And then it also has a project thing. So just in case I have a project, like I actually want to make my little my daughter to be <laughs> my daughter who's coming in September I want to make a, a baby mobile so I thought about writing down like to do a project on that so that's kind of a project that I thought maybe we, I could also record in here to help me stay on track okay so then I have in that same area coupons so this isn't just coupons for groceries I actually have in here a little envelope for a Target coupon. And then I also have a folder here for, you know, all the different coupon books that I get from Kroger or Meyer or whatever. I can keep them in here so that way when I am doing my grocery shopping, I have everything right here in my planner. 
And then my next category is my social media planner. So for YouTube and Instagram, I have two accounts. I have this Prayers and Ponytails one, and I also have a Glam Free Beauty where I talk about beauty stuff, <laughs> uh, reviews and things just kind of for the common person, not the whole beauty guru thing, but I do try to um, give some good reviews and things over on my Instagram and YouTube. So I like to have a plan for that. So I actually planned on making this video. So what I did was I converted a mom planner uh, that I got, just the insert, not the whole planner, on a Facebook group. And so I can take a look at here and kind of circle when I've uploaded or something. I haven't done that yet, but I could do that. Um, that's what I plan on doing is just kind of circling when I upload so that way I can kind of see how consistent I've been. And then July's month here, very blank because I've been kind of MIA <laughs> with my social media. In July, I've been really focusing just on homeschooling. But I can see that I have actually filmed some things. I have some sticky notes that I'm like, well, I would like to plan, you know, film my planner setup, but we'll see if that actually happens on this day. If not, I can move it over. And so I wanted to keep this simple because this is my hobby. This is something that brings me joy. <laughs> I wanna keep it simple. All I have are my months um, in like my overview of a month. I will have my, my sticky notes and then the next page is just some stats. Not even, I don't even have anything written out here for July. Like I said, I've been kind of MIA, but I could be writing down, you know, my personal planner video that I'm planning on writing. I could write that down, I just didn't. So I have my prayers and ponytails. I'm just kind of keeping track of my subscriber accounts, my Instagram, and then my Instagram for Glam Free Beauty, just to see what happens in different weeks, see my progress. This, that's all I'm gonna have. I'm just gonna have my overview and then my stats and kind of what I wanna get done that month. And then I have some note paper so I can write down for my video, you know, that I plan on doing. These are the, make sure I mention these things. Just notes that I would want to write about the videos that I'm going to film or the posts that I'm going to post. And then in the very back, I have extras, meaning just some note paper, some daily, weekly note paper, and then also just some lined paper in the back here. So, yep, pen, pen loop that I bought on Amazon. So I can always have a black pen nearby if I need it. But I do like to use a lot of different types of pens. If you can tell um, in my, this past week, I liked to use metallic pen. So I have a pink, like a rose gold and a teal metallic pen there. I also use my black pen, so yeah. That is that. That is my Franken planner and I've been enjoying it. I do think that like once I'm done with the month of July, I probably will take it out and store it somewhere or maybe once I get to September and I've used July and August, I'll take out July by that time because maybe I'll want to use the previous month. I'm not sure, but um, we'll see what happens. And I, if you're interested, I can keep uploading videos on planning. I can even do like a plan with me if you're interested in that, maybe with my homeschool planner or my daughter's planner, I don't know, <laughs> this planner. Just let me know. Like I said, I also have a faith planner. I can show you. It's it's more of like a faith journal though. It's kind of personal, but I've, I've made it to where it's fun. I can kind of draw um, when I have devotionals or reading through the Bible. If something really speaks to me, um, I can, I take that and I kind of use it in an artful way. <laughs> and then I also bring that whole planner with me to church because I have a whole separate sermon notes area too. So I like to have that so then during the week when I have my quiet time, if I want to just re refer back to the message, it's in the same planner. So that is a whole other planner. So really I do, <laughs> I do have three, three or four planners. And this one's a Franken planner. And so anyways, <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this and it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, definitely 
leave it down below. I love to talk to you guys in the comments and also over on Instagram. So hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.